What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man Ahmad here with another dope tidbit slash story in tech this week. So, this uh, this episode is going to be about really this cool app slash environment slash OS that I found for iPads, right? As you guys know, my iPad is my primary working machine. I'm on it most majority of the time. So anything I can find out how to do on my iPad that I no longer need my net, my laptop for, awesome, right? So let me explain to you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Alpine Linux. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Linux, the uh, distribution or the, the, the category of OSs itself. But the particular distribution, Alpine Linux, I personally was not familiar with until recently uh, as someone who primarily uses Kali Linux and uh, I've played with a couple other flavors like Parrot OS and things of that nature really, but nothing, you know, just a, not a, just a general Linux distro. So I've done a video in the past on how to uh, leverage and use Kali Linux using my iPad, right? And that was um, really utilizing my Raspberry Pi, which is great. Still love my Raspberry Pi. Don't get it twisted. However, in the continuing quest to have to, to be able to do everything on my iPad without relying on outside devices and so forth and so on, I stumbled upon an app that will, allows us, that pretty much puts Alpine Linux on your iPad. Let me stop rambling and just get right to it. The name of the app is ISH, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you ISH, show you, you know how, I mean, those of you familiar with Alpine Linux, this will be nothing new for you. However, um, ISH is an approved app in the App Store, right? This is not something you have to jailbreak your iPad for, right? You can just download this app out of the App Store, and it's pretty much putting um, Alpine Linux on your iPad. From what I gather, it's it's a containerized situation, I believe it is. I believe it's all running in a, a container that's within the app itself, but still, uh, there's not many limitations. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about, and maybe... You know, the, the rest of you uh, iPad nerds out there, like myself, will be just as excited as I am. So let's get to it. So as you guys can see, I have, I'm on my iPad Pro 12.9 with the Magic Keyboard, right? Let me go ahead and move that out the way. Now, the app itself, the icon is this. But before we download the icon, let me show you what it actually looks like in the App Store, right? because you have the ability to change the icon, and that's exactly what I did. So if you go by that icon, you're not gonna find it. I mean, I'm gonna link the app in the description, but I want to make sure you guys know that you're looking at the right thing. Okay, this is the app, ISH Shell. Not sure if you guys can really see that, but that's the app, it's ISH Shell, right? So this, there's no, there isn't anything weird or crazy you need to do to enable it. You really just download the app. The other crazy thing about it is it's a free app. Nuts, right? So let's go ahead and get out of there and let's do this. All right. So what I've done is I've changed the appearance of the app. And so I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm trying to zoom in here. A little bit. Let's see if I can. I don't know. It won't let me zoom in while I'm recording. Oh well. But you can see up at the top here where it says "Welcome to Alpine," right? You can install packages with APK add. I mean, it's really, 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 really easy to use. So um, a couple of packages I installed was is I off top with. I mean, it's probably not going to go through the whole thing because I've already installed these packages. But I installed Python, right? First thing I did was, let me back up. I went and updated the repositories, right? So APK update. Let's 
And there you go, right? For those of you who aren't familiar with Alpine, I wasn't, and are used to like Kali and things like that, uh, you're probably more used to using apt-get, right? Or the apt-suite, right? APK is the APT equivalent, right? Not the same syntax, there is no APK-get, but you have to leverage the APK commands to do the same things you would do with apt-get, right? Or apt, excuse me. So we did upgrade, update, now I'm gonna do upgrade, just to make sure all, everything in my base OS is updated. There we go. I mean, it didn't upgrade anything because I just did this yesterday, but normally it would go through this whole deal. You guys have upgraded Linux before, you know how it works. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did to add my Python packages, right? To add Python, apk add. And it's already installed. That's the reason why I did it. I did the same thing with Ruby. Same thing with Node.js. So forth and so on, right? And that's really it. I mean, it was simple. It was very, very simple. Um, something I really stumbled upon. I downloaded the app, but didn't. I guess I didn't really realize that it was an actual Linux environment. I thought it was the equivalent to uh, ASH or A shell, which gives you like a Mac, gives you a command line access or a terminal emulator on your iPad, right? I thought this was one of those alternative type apps. I never really realized this was a full Linux distro, right? So, are you gonna if config? Uh, you know what, because I can't spell. Let's see if, let's file if config. Why is it not working? Oh, great. Really? That's what we're doing? All right, so. Hmm. Let's do your name. Linux, PWD. I'm in root. And uh, let's see. If config. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's bugging. But anyway. That's LTR. You list processes, you can list a lot of things. As you can see, um, I've created a couple of directories. I tried to install a few things. You can't do everything in this. I promise if config did work, I don't know why it's acting stupid now. But uh, I'll, you know, I will look at it later on. But um, I mean, that's really it. There was nothing really super duper that I had to do. Um, what I will show you is, is a couple of places where I went to install packages. So, hold on, let me bring this back. Also, you can do split screen with this thing. That's the other cool thing about it, right? So if you have, like me, if you're like me and you need to look up certain things. So, excuse the ESPN. Let's go here. So all of these, all of these packages that are on the Alpine security, uh, I guess, wiki, and I'll link this in the description as well. All these packages are not going to install. They're just not. It's just what it is. They say it up here at the top, really. Uh, this is a work in progress. Not all packages are available at the moment, right? But what you can do is you can go through here and install the packages that you want, right? Like I went through, uh, I would say about, I don't know, 40% of these packages did not install. Um, but a lot of them did. Like I managed to install Nikto. Um, those of you who are the, or security uh, professionals may be familiar with Nikto. Um, some of these didn't work. I mean, Open Nmap did install. Actually, it installed as a part of me installing Nikto, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a number of other things in this list that, that did install. Like I said, about 40% of the things I tried to install actually installed. So... I mean, that to me is just awesome. Um, another 
thing I did was, once again, from a security professional standpoint, it's like, okay, can I get Metasploit on here? And I found a way to get Metasploit on here. Uh, really, I followed this particular set of instructions. Uh, and I will, once again, link these, link, put this link in the description so you guys can follow along. I installed these dependencies. So really, I installed Ruby, uh, installed Subversion, um, really installed all of this. I just did this today. I'm not sure if it works. I haven't, actually haven't tried to fire up Metasploit, but there are instructions on installing Metasploit in Alpine, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, and really, yeah, I mean, that, that's really it. Install these dependencies and put the, follow the installation instructions. And I mean, I would imagine it will work for you. I, I, unfortunately, I didn't have time to, you know, to try this out before the video. Um, I wish I would have, but I got to set up some things at home and my network to be able to attack certain things, so forth and so on, right? So, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. I was pretty excited um, about the, having the ability to do this. So I've just been, you know, geeked about the whole thing. Another thing that you can find is this. Um, I know I did the out the security related packages as well as Metasploit. However, there is a excuse me. There is a just a regular package list, right? Alpine Linux packages, and you could go through here, and I'll put this link in the description as well, and really just install whatever package that you're familiar with. I mean. This is awesome. I mean, it's, this app has been in the App Store for a while. They've updated a few times. I'm very shocked Apple is letting this thing, you know, letting this thing rock. But hey, I'm going to take advantage of it while I can before they change their minds. And uh, it's just something I wanted to, you know, expose you guys to today. Some of you probably already knew about this. I didn't. I was excited. Figured I'd go ahead and, and let you guys in so you can share the excitement with me. See, before I go, I'd show you guys a quick package install. So I'm going to go ahead and install GCC. I don't believe I've added that yet. At least I don't think I have. I went on a package adding rampage last night, but uh, I don't think I added GCC. So let's see. There we go. So we're going to just do an APK add GCC. Hopefully I did not add that. I was no, I did. I thought I was let's find something here that I know I probably didn't do. Let's see. What about kind of just want you guys to see the process of what it looks like. Uh let's see, let's do this. Let's skip something I know I would not have added. I already installed Postgres, so I know that's not gonna... You know what, what I didn't do, I didn't install Image Magic. So let's do that. Pretty sure I didn't do that. And the great thing about this is, is that this is in an ISO, here it is, it's installing. I didn't install this, so. You see down at the bottom of the screen, it's downloading, installing, installing. But the great thing about this is it's isolated, right? So I'm not overly concerned about what I do in this app causing damage to iPad OS or the iPad itself, right? Because, uh, as I stated before, it appears that this is containerized, so it's completely cordoned off from the uh, iPad OS and its, you know, its inner workings and its system files and system and so forth and so on, right? All that good stuff, right? So um, it just really appears to be isolated. So anything stupid that I do in here, um, I feel pretty safe that it's not going to affect my iPad itself. I'm going to say I would not recommend doing anything overly stupid, right? Um, because I'm not sure that it won't affect it. I just feel pretty confident that it won't. Um, but why tempt fate, right? 
So you can see here it's executing. And it's just like a Linux installation, right? Uh, Alpine Linux is a very, very light uh, stripped down version of Linux, which is one of the reasons I think it runs so well on here. Um, you know, I, I found this out and obviously I started to look and see if there were any way for me to um, run, you know, Kali on here, or one of the other more um, security focused distros. And I haven't found anything like that, but I'm not shocked because those are heavier um, distributions of, of Linux. But there you have it. I did want to show you guys that package installation. And so as you can see, um, it does operate pretty much like a normal version of Linux. Uh, not sure why if config is not working. I'll probably dig into that a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, it was working last night. I was able to get my, all my IP addresses of, of the adapters assigned to this thing, but that's a troubleshooting session for another time. Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can see how cool this is and, you know, are, are just, ex just as excited as I am. Well, as you guys can see, um, Alpine Linux is a pretty dope distro. ISH is a great app. Thank you, makers of ISH, for making this app and, and allowing us to be able to do different things on our iPads. I, I really... Um, discovered this because I saw a video on YouTube about um, development, you know, being a developer using your iPad, right? And there's a number of different apps that you can utilize to, uh, you know, create apps and, you know, start your or, or, or perform development tasks on your iPad. However, there wasn't one that I felt gave you that same experience as like, you know, writing a Python script in Linux or something along those lines, right? So once again, I stumbled up, I stumbled across this app um, with, and in my intentions of using it are, you know, at this point, not just to write Python scripts, but to see whatever else, other cool things I can find out, right? So I definitely plan on uh, firing up that Metasploit and seeing what I can do, what kind of damage I can do on my home network. Um, but once again, uh, I'm glad you guys were able to, you know, watch this video, uh, tuned into my video, actually. Hopefully you found something interesting, something informative, uh, you know, it sparked you to have a different idea or something along those lines. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. If you did hit that like button, um, I will really be interested in hearing if, you have any other ideas of how this app can be leveraged, right? Please leave some comments in the comment below. Uh, some things I may not be aware of. I am by no means a developer, a guru, or anything like that. More of a security guy. Really uh, basic Python scripting, so I'm starting to start that whole developer journey. But um, if you find anything else that I can do pretty cool with Alpine Linux and the other programs or packages that I can install, that would be great. Uh, if you like the channel, Go ahead and hit that like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, excuse me. Um, that's really it, guys. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Have an awesome rest of your week. And until next time, I'm out.